Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we're in Excel and we want to learn how to create a scroll bar. Now, this scroll bar is going to allow us to control this value here, our quantity number. And as we hit up or down, it's going to change uh, the number in this cell. So uh, the first thing to do is to show the developer tab on your ribbon, and that won't show by default. So what you can do is just right click on one of the existing tabs, customize the ribbon, and then you tick developer there. Then click on the developer tab on your ribbon, and you'll see in the controls group, you've got an insert button, click on that. And then what you're looking for under form controls is your little scroll bar control. So click on that. Now this scroll bar could be vertical or horizontal. It just depends kind of how you drag. I think for this, we'll make it uh, horizontal. You can always change it later. You can resize it. One thing to note though, is if you click outside it and then click on it again, you lose the little handles around it, which means you can't resize it or move it. So you have to right click to do that. And then you can further make your adjustments. Just remember to right click. Now, once you've got it in the right place, we need to somehow link it to the cell. So I right click again and I go to format control and you've got all of these options here. So uh, what we're gonna do is uh, change these settings here. So we've got a minimum value there. We'll say our minimum value is one. Maximum value, so I don't know, you might have a maximum that someone can uh, order. Maybe we'll say 50. Incremental change. So every time you press one of these little arrow buttons, how much do you want this quantity to change by? Well, that would be one for us. And page change will be when you don't click on the arrows, but you click somewhere within the scroll area, how much do you want the value to change by? So we'll say five for the page change. Now this is the really important bit. We need to link this scroll bar to this particular cell. So in the cell link box, I'm just gonna click into that cell there and click on okay. Now it's gone to 20 because this setting here was set to 20. So if you're not happy with the 20, you can change that to a one if you like, and I'll go to one. But let's see how this works now. So if I click on the little arrow buttons, you can see that it changes or increments the value by one. But if I click within the scroll area, it increments the value by five. And there you have it. You've got a scroll bar that basically allows you to specify the value you see in another cell. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully it's been useful. Please subscribe if it has, and I'll see you next video.